Good morning, everybody. It's Sunday morning. It's about, I think, my clock says 7.50 in my Volkswagen here, but it is actually 8.50 because it's daylight savings time. For those of, the, for those of you that don't know, it's uh, spring forward, so luckily we gain an hour, an extra hour of daylight, uh, which is an absolutely awesome time of the year. I wish that it was a little bit nicer out here today in PA. Uh, according to my little Volkswagen here, it's saying that it's 23 degrees. Um, definitely not preferred weather to try and take on an outdoor activity like I'm going to get into today, but uh, I'm going to give it a shot anyway. So uh, I'm on my way to Walmart. I need to pick up a few supplies here to, um, I guess, arm myself with all the necessaries to try and tackle the little project that we're going to take on today. So uh, let's get to that and then we'll, uh, we'll pick up on a little bit more story before we get things rolling here. Now that that little short trip to Walmart is done, side note, I actually wish that uh, trips to Walmart were always that fast. Luckily this morning it was actually really to, relatively quick because uh, I guess everybody's still on the uh, the old time which is only 8 o'clock here on a Sunday morning. I'm sure everybody's kind of struggling to get out of bed. Uh, unlike myself that jumped out of bed this morning excited about this project and packed my coffee and my Yeti here. That's actually my fiance's Yeti. but got one as well I just need that much coffee this morning um, so yeah basically I'm gonna be taking on a little project today to um, try and restore the condition of the calipers on the Duramax um, as you guys well know living in the Northeast exposes you to uh, tons of different kind of climates and temperatures and uh, ultimately road conditions and over the two years of owning the truck uh, the undercarriage has seen some, you know, typical normalized wear. Uh, so the first thing that I wanted to try and tackle was to, to restore the condition of the brake caliper. So um, what I just picked up at Walmart were uh, two wire brushes that go into a Dremel as well as uh, a, a frontward facing wire brush that can be attached to a drill. I picked up uh, some eye protection, some breathing protection, a breathing mask, and tools to try and tackle this job today. So. Uh, what we're going to try and do is knock out a brake restoration project, real short, simple. Alright, so just to give you guys a little idea as to what we're going to try and knock out here. Um, here, I'll show you the brake caliper. So as you all know, here, let that focus, get a little bit of light a minute, it's in there. Uh, the brakes look like absolute crud. Um, part of the reason that I want to take on this project is because when the new wheels come in, there's a significant amount of offset that exposes the caliper. And from the rear, it looks like absolute crap. Um, as you can see, the underframe as well has incurred some aging over time, which we're gonna knock out in a separate vlog project video. But ultimately, we're trying to restore what is a factory condition in a bare metal state. So kind of similar to to the, 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 the fork axle lock here on my CRF450R. So I wanna take it from its current crappy state to a state like this. And uh, what'll allow us to do that is ultimately just a few simple items. So we're gonna try out this Duplicolor caliper paint. Uh, it's something that you can pick up at, you know, your, your local uh, auto parts store, Napa Advanced what have you for I think it's like five bucks a can we've got some brake cleaner our newly acquired coarse cup wire brush we've got a carbon steel brush here that's going to be for the Dremel um, a similar cleaning polishing brush that's also for the Dremel I've got my breathing protection there eye protection there uh, the Dremel and the truck
So just a quick current state. It's kind of the uh, current condition of the brake calipers. You can see, I mean, they're not that bad. This is about two years of exposure to the elements. Um, so you can see, obviously, there's some tarnish here on the bottom, probably from the salt that the truck's seen over the years, as well as uh, your typical fading of the caliper. Uh, first, we're gonna take the Black & Decker here, trusty Black & Decker with a Black & Decker wire brush wheel. I'm gonna hit all the exterior componentry while the brake is still mounted on the truck. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove the brake caliper by the bolts in the back, and then try and get into some of these tighter crevices with the Dremel wire wheel that I got so I can clean out some of this. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna douse this thing in a, a good amount of brake cleaner and then start applying the coat. Alright guys, you can see here after hitting the caliper with this wire brush, forward facing wire brush, it did restore a decent amount of its original condition. As you can see, there's still some discoloration here, but overall some of the raw metal uh, came back to life relatively easily. So um, again, caliper is still mounted on the truck. I like this because it gives me a solid working surface. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit with my Dremel here and this smaller forward facing wire brush into some of the tighter areas that would otherwise be hard to get with that brush there. So as you can see, I've got the brake caliper sitting on my recycle uh, trash can here. Uh, I've got this thing pretty well cleaned up, uh, at least to the best of my ability with the uh, tools that I have. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to prep the area for paint. Um, and I'm also going to now uh, hit the caliper with your good old brake cleans. All right, guys, so I've got about four coats of paint on to the caliper. Um, it's currently on the vehicle, but I've had it off a few times. It was actually sitting on that side. But in the meantime, as this has been drying, I've started on the other aspects of the truck. So I've taken this off and I've put it back on about three times. I've coated a majority of uh, the area that is visible as well as underneath. Alrighty guys, so here is the finished product, um, at least one side of, of four. Uh, I, I'm actually waiting on this other side to cure so I can finish that one up as well. But as you can see, the overall appearance and, and the finish is just remarkably better. Uh, ultimately, when you go with this dupli color silver, that's the, that's the, the color of the cap. And, and I'll put a, a link in the bio in the description here of the uh, products that I used. Um, you can tell that, it, I mean, it just looks factory and, and, you know, I didn't want to go out and paint these things yellow or red or, you know, any color that would ultimately draw attention to the wheel because um, my overall objective here was to just regain that uh, from the factory look. Uh, really, I mean, it's, it's a big bulky truck. There's really no need to, to spice up the brake calipers. They're really nothing fancy. Um, but again, I, I, I am going to be getting my new wheels here shortly, uh, which I'll jump into detail. Uh, in a minute here um, and ultimately I just wanted to, to get these things cleaned up to, to uh, finish up the overall fit and finish uh, of the wheels. Try and bring you out front. Get that nice OEM look going. Boom. Alright guys, so I just wanted to give you a quick update as well on the wheels. As you all know that this truck uh, is anticipating shipment of new wheels, uh, hopefully sooner than later. It's been actually two months to date. Uh, I ordered my brand new wheels 
What was it, January 12th? Today is March 12th. It's kind of ironic because I did want to provide you all an update with that as I know you're all very excited about what's to come. Uh, there were two hiccups, I guess, that had prolonged this process. The first one was that the blanks required to manufacture the specific size wheel were back ordered. So that caused about a two week delay in shipment or manufacturing. Then after the, after the wheels had run through the manufacturing process, they were going into powder coat as I didn't buy chrome wheels this time. So just a little teaser for you guys there. Um, I guess one of the wheels somehow, don't know the specifics, had gotten screwed up in the powder coat process. So it had to go back through its, I guess, sandblasting and then it's got to go back to powder coat, then the clear coat uh, and get ready for shipment. I talked to my distributor who connects to uh, the manufacturer of the wheels. Uh, what was it? last Thursday and he had told me that there were no new updates really hoping to get information back from that individual this coming Monday that way I can better plan as to when I'm going to release a reveal video um, when those new wheels are on and uh, I'll tell you guys they're, they're going to look really really awesome um, I'm looking I'm, I'm, I'm looking super forward to it especially being that uh, it, it's been relatively nice here in Pennsylvania it's not all that nice today and I think that they're calling for a decent amount of snow but I've been joking around with my friends saying lately that, uh, you know, this nice weather is kind of like vinegar and a fresh wound because it's just so painful to not have the new wheels in the truck and to be kind of uh, st uh, stouting the truck, kind of driving around town or whatnot. So uh, thank you guys for tuning in. If this video was helpful, please remember to give it a thumbs up. And, and if you haven't already, please subscribe. Thank you very much. Have an awesome day.